Hello and welcome. So you want to become better than 99% of programmers, but you are doing exactly the same thing as 99% of programmers do. You binge watch tutorials on YouTube, you take endless online courses, and you grind lead code non-stop. There's nothing wrong with it, but if you want to become the top 1% programmer, you need to do things that other programmers aren't willing to do. In this video, I will share with you 7 traits that I noticed from the most productive programmers that I have worked with. Without further ado, let's dive in. Number 1. Become a subject matter expert A common trait I noticed from successful programmers is that they focus on one topic and become very good at it. They don't constantly switch between areas knowing that they cannot master everything at once. Consider two programmers, the first one specializing in backend development. He has deep knowledge of SQL databases, he can set up backend APIs, and he can write solid unit tests. A second programmer knows a little bit of everything. One day he's running MySQL queries, the next day he's working on a React component, and another day he's developing an iOS app. If these two programmers were competing for the same job, which one would have the edge? The first one is likely to get high because he has deep knowledge of his specialty. The second one, with only surface level knowledge, could easily be replaced by other experts in his fields. An iOS expert can be a better iOS app than him. A frontend expert can create better React website. Many top programmers in the world demonstrate this trait of specialization. Jeff Dean, for example, is a machine learning expert. Rudolf Van Rossum is well known for his Python programming language. And Ken Thompson is renowned for his contributions to operating systems, particularly Unix. So, an actionable advice is to identify one or two areas of interest and dive deep into them. For me, it's full stack development and machine learning. I tried game development, I tried mobile development, I tried system programming before, but none of them actually resonate with me. If you're just starting out your coding journey, it's okay to explore different topics and see what you enjoy. But once you identify preferred area, concentrate your effort on them and ignore the rest. This will set you apart from other programmers who have broad but shallow knowledge base. Number 2. Master Debugging Skill Do programmers spend most of their time writing new code? No, they spend the majority of their time debugging existing code. Debugging is about finding, analyzing, and solving problems, and is a crucial skill for any software developer. If you want to become a top programmer, developing your debugging skill is absolutely crucial. I'm not the best at debugging, but I learned from a friend of mine who's currently a software engineer at Apple. He has exceptional debugging skill. Whenever I show him a broken piece of code, he can quickly identify the problem and guide me through the fix. If you want to improve your debugging skill, focus on two things. First, stay calm whenever your code breaks. It's okay for your code to fail during the first try. Panicking won't solve the problem. In fact, it just further hurts your mental health. Secondly, leverage Google and Stack Overflow. Most programming issues have already been resolved, so there's a high chance you can find a solution online. Learn to search effectively, and you'll be able to fix many bugs on your own. As you do this, your debugging skill will naturally improve, making you a better programmer. Number 3. Prioritize Simplicity Charlie Munger, the well-known American investor, once said, Simplicity has a way of improving performance by enabling us to better understand what we are doing. This holds true for programming as well. I actually learned this lesson the hard way. When I first learned Django for web development, I tried to be a complex site like Lico from scratch. I spent about 6 to 8 hours per day being watching YouTube tutorials, reading medium blogs without eating or drinking, convinced that I could figure it all out. But guess what? After one week, I gave up because it was too difficult. As a new programmer, you probably have high expectations like me. But trust me, this is your ego talking. Don't let it get in the way of what truly matters. Keeping things simple will make your coding journey 10 times easier. As a programmer, your main goal is solving problems. Start with simple problems and use a straightforward tech stack to solve them. For example, 
if you want to create a personal website to hold your projects, then JavaScript and React can help you get the job done. Keep it simple, and you will save yourself a lot of stress and frustration. Number 4. Quality is better than quantity. I recently read The 4-Hour Work Week by Tim Ferriss, and it was a fantastic book. One key takeaway is the 80-20 rule, which states that 20% of the work you do produce 80% of the result. So, you should focus on this 20% of work and not waste time on the rest. This principle can be applied to all areas of life, including coding. When I first started programming, I tried to be as many projects as I could and learn as many programming languages as possible. But this approach quickly led to burnout, I couldn't keep up with all the information, and most of my projects didn't even make it to my resume. It felt like a lot of wasted effort. As a programmer, you don't need a ton of projects to land a job. You only need one or two high quality projects that you can discuss in detail. So when you start a project, aim to finish it and understand its strengths and weaknesses. Another approach is contributing to open source projects. This can be challenging, but it's worth it, especially if you are a more experienced programmer. Completing a single feature in an open source project is 10 times more valuable than creating 10 React apps and never finish them. Number 5. Read other people's code. When I interned at Refin as a software engineer, I wrote about 2,000 to 3,000 lines of code. But guess how much code I actually read? Probably about 20,000 to 30,000 lines. These numbers are just estimate, but you get the idea. I read 10 times more code than I wrote. If you want to become a top programmer, you need the ability to read and understand other people's code. When you work at a company, you don't build everything from scratch. You work with a large code base built by other engineers. So it's important to read and understand code written by others so that you can find your way around faster. Additionally, reading code from experienced engineers teach you how to write cleaner code. You can pick up their habits and use them for your own work. To get better at understanding code, just read more of it. Explore open source projects and coding blocks and try to make sense of them. It's tough at first, but you will improve with practice. Number 6. Find a mentor. Mentoring is absolutely crucial if you want to become a good programmer. I was lucky to be able to work with amazing engineers during my time at Redfin, and they taught me a lot of valuable lessons. I learned how to debug front-end applications using Google Chrome, find resources to understand the code base, focus on what I can control, and let go of what I cannot control. All of these insights come from my mentors. A good mentor can accelerate your progress towards your goal. Some people might argue that each person has its own unique path, which is true, but it doesn't make sense to reinvent the wheel if you already know something works. A mentor can help you avoid common mistakes, and he can show you the step he took to achieve success. This way, you can save yourself a lot of time and energy, allowing you to learn without many setbacks. If you work at a tech company, finding a mentor is easy. Just look for senior engineers and reach out to them. If you don't have that opportunity, don't worry. You can find mentorship online. Follow tech-related YouTubers or find computing professionals on LinkedIn. It's a numbers game at the end of the day, so keep reaching out until you find someone who's interested in helping you. Once you do, try to be a relationship and learn as much as you can from them. And finally, be a lifelong student. Albert Einstein once said, commit yourself to lifelong learning. The best asset you have is your mind and what you put into it. And that's true. I never see any successful programmer who stopped learning. The most skillful programmers constantly expand their knowledge because they know technology is constantly changing and evolving. So they need to keep their skill up to date to stay relevant. If you want to become a top programmer, you have to embrace a commitment to learning. That doesn't mean just acquire more information, you have to dive deep into the topics and the technologies that you want to work with. The more you know, the more flexible you are as a software engineer. If you don't keep learning, you will quickly identify yourself with outdated skills. So make it a habit of gathering new information, challenging your understanding, and asking new questions. The more you invest in your mind, the more valuable you become as a programmer. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it. If you like the video, 
please like and subscribe that support the channel a lot and i will see you in the next video peace